What is up, everybody? Alex from WMD here, back at you again. And for this one, we're going to do another cool patch with Time Warp. So this one's all about helping out your voice. So right here, you can see I have a PDO, my Carbon, my Javelin, and then my Time Warp. So most of the times, this would be my voice. I take my PDO, run it into the Carbon, take my Carbon out, low pass because that's what I like but you know you can use whatever you want and take the output of my javelin go into the performance mixer and then I'll take my envelope from my javelin run that into the carbon we'll hit some gates from Metron here I think I already got a gate channel rolling so we'll just hear what this sounds like right and then we're going to go out of the Volterra. Let's use a split cable so we can get both Volt Proactive into PDO as well as the Carbon. So we will record ourselves a new little signal here, or a new sequence. All right, that's pretty cool. So as we know, Time Warp is a dual channel triggered slew module, but it can also be used as an envelope and as an envelope follower. So what we're going to do in this video is show how to add a second envelope to this voice, which can be a very useful thing using Time Warp, which takes up very little space. All right, so I'm going to clear out that sequence and I'm just going to run a long gate here so we can really hear the ADSR properties of Javelin controlling the carbon. So now you can hear that we're going through the decay stage and when we hit the sustain stage the filter is pretty far down but it still sounds nice we're still hear hearing that filter character but the sustain level is really low. So this might be difficult for us to uh, have this voice compete with other things in our system. And so this is where a second envelope comes into play. So you can use another ADSR, no problem, and just set up the settings a little bit different. But a lot of times I find myself using uh, fast attack and then sustain all the way up and then just uh, messing with my release. So it's always a little bit longer than my filter envelope. So instead of using a full ADSR for this, we can just use an AR envelope, which is the type of envelope that Time Warp is. So Time Warp, when you have this symmetry switch on the left, that gives you slew rates of channel A and B independently, but it's both up and down slewing. So if you go to the right side of the symmetry switch, you, know, you now have attack and release over both channels. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this gate input and we're going to run another split cable and we're going to take our gate from Metron run that into the gate input on Javelin and this as well as the input on Time Warp and then we're going to take the output of this uh, of Time Warp and we're going to run that into the VCA CV so on Javelin, it has its own built-in VCA that's normaled to the envelope. So that means that the built-in envelope, when nothing is con uh, plugged into the VCA CV input, the built-in envelope will control that VCA. But as soon as you plug something into this VCA input, you now break that normal, meaning you have a VCA that can be controlled with something else. So we are controlling that with Time Warp. So now let's hear the difference of our signal here. That's really loud, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So now what we have is we have this VCA running at full sustain level. That means that we're going to run through the envelope on time warp for the VCA. We're just going to run through the attack stage. Then we're going to stay at a full level until the release. This is how an attack release envelope works. So now we have control on the Javelin for our filter sound. So you can hear, I'm still getting that decay down to a sustain level, but now I've got full level on my VCA. And then you can also hear that I've got a longer release on the VCA. 
So as our envelope releases and dies, we can turn that up a little bit. We are still hearing the amplitude come through. So this is a useful trick. It's always nice to have a second envelope. Sometimes you don't have one. Sometimes you don't have space for one. Um, so this is a nice way to get it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to use the other channel of, of time warp and see what happens when we use it as a slew. So here's our sound. We'll add some gates in there. And then we'll add some pitches. Alright, cool. So what we're going to do here is we're going to run our Volterra into time warp before it uh, before that signal goes into the PDO and the carbon. So we're just going to use a cable like this, run that through there, turn that up. So what we're going to do now is because we have the attack going very fast and the release going a little bit slower, what that means is that every time the volt proctive signal goes up, we're going to hear it as it normally would be. It's going to step, but then we're going to slew every time the voltage goes down. So when I engage this switch, you'll hear what I'm talking about. So that's kind of a cool thing. We're using this envelope. The longer we get, the more slew we have. So now we basically have a macro control. This release knob and the attack knob as well not only controls the envelope it also controls slew time of our downward um, volt proactive signal so that's it quick video today hope it gives you some ideas on how to use time warp in your own patches and um, as always please like and subscribe and we'll see you all next time peace